All right, guys, I wanted to go through and show you how you might change some of these parameters so that you might have a more stable ecosystem where both wolves and rabbits and grass are surviving for countless iterations or stages. Okay, so when we go down here to click on view or modify parameters, we have a whole lot of choices that we can kind of, um, where we can change the settings essentially for the program. And so let's start with rabbits. Okay, I want to help you understand what each one of these means. Maximum rabbit food level is a setting to where the rabbits will not eat more food, more grass, once they've reached this maximum level. Okay, so they'll stop eating um, as long as they need to after they have consumed this amount. Okay, so that's something that we can change. The rabbit metabolism rate is how much grass they have to eat per iteration to survive. Okay, so grass, uh, as it stands right now, grass is at a level of one. Okay, so rabbit metabolism, they have to eat three grasses in order to survive until the next iteration. So again, we can change that. Rabbit reproductive age. So right now it's set to where they will have to be 10 before they can um, reproduce and have babies. Rabbit reproduction probability, this is a percentage. Okay, so this means that if a rabbit is at the reproductive age, it has a 50% chance of producing a living offspring. Rabbit reproduction food levels. So even if your rabbit is at the correct reproductive age, so they've reached an age of 10 iterations, um, they will have had to have consumed 40 units of food, uh, 40 grasses essentially, in order to have enough energy to reproduce. Okay, If they have not gotten to that point, they will not be able to have offspring. Um, and then maximum rabbit age is 25 iterations. You need to make sure that you save your changes if you make those. Okay, um, if we go to the wolf parameters, it's basically the same things. Okay, we have maximum wolf food level. So again, they won't eat once they've um, surpassed that. Okay, wolf metabolism rate. Uh, they need to consume that many um, food units in order to survive each iteration. Uh, wolf reproduction age, wolf reproduction probability. Again, that's a percentage. How likely will a wolf be? So in, it's set um, as 50% chance of producing a living offspring once they are at the reproductive age. Again, maximum wolf age um, and wolf reproduction food level are set there. Okay. Um, the only other things that you can change is... So we can uh, start with the initial number of rabbits and wolves if you want to um, increase the number of those. Initial rabbit food level is set at as a 10. Initial food, wolf food level is set at 150. Initial grass value is a 20. Okay, these are things that you can change. And then we have miscellaneous rabbit food value for wolves is a 10. Grass growth rate. So we can change how quickly our grasses are growing. Okay, you guys' goal is going to be to get through 500 iterations. So remember, if I go down here and click on view cumulative stats, okay, it'll show me how many stages or iterations I have been through. Um, you're gonna need to get through a minimum of 500, and the goal is to still have your wolves and your rabbits, um, at least one of each still present at that point. Uh, bonus points, if you can get up to a thousand iterations, or stages and still have uh, rabbits and wolves present. That is a truly balanced ecosystem if you're able to do that. Um, but you will have to go in and adjust these parameters that we just looked at in order to be able to do so. So good luck. Make sure you're remembering what you're doing so that you can share it with us once you have been successful.